this doesn't need to be there. Hey, so today we're gonna talk about the must have accessories for the Panasonic S1H. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe because you, why not? You're probably not subscribed anyway. And like the video for the YouTube algorithm. It helps more than you realize. But let's get right on into the video. So I'm gonna go over things you might not really think about when getting this camera. And a lot of these accessories are gonna be things that you just wanna think about when getting a new camera in general. So obviously you can't just buy the camera and a lens. That can't be the only thing in your shopping cart. So what else is going to be in that shopping cart. The most important thing is gonna be your SD cards. So this one is a Lexar 128 gigabyte, 300 megabyte per second card. These are super important. And it is very important that you have the 300 megabyte per second part of that because the data coming off of the S1H is so high, if you wanna actually be able to film in 6K, you need a super, super, super fast SD card. So definitely look into UHS-2 cards and moving on. So next most important thing is your batteries. The battery life on this camera is really nice, but you, you need more than one. So I got the Tektra dual battery charger and that allows for me to charge two batteries at a time. It'll save your life just a little bit. So we have batteries, we have your SD card. Now, things you might not necessarily think about. Every time I get a new camera, the very first thing that goes into the car is a screen protector. This camera has an amazing touch screen. It also has a little screen up here at the top, but you can imagine you're touching the screen all the time. Having a screen protector is gonna put your mind at ease. No scratches, no nothing, nothing is happening to the screen. So a screen, I would highly recommend getting a screen protector. Another thing that I tend to do all the time is to get a cage for my cameras. This adds a little bit of protection as well as a whole bunch of mounting points to just mount things to. I like having a cage, it beefs it up, it gives me a little bit more peace of mind. And it lets me do things like put two screws when mounting tripod plates so that nothing shifts or anything like that. You probably have this laying around, but this is a super thin HDMI cable. The S1H has full size HDMI port on it, so you can get just an HDMI to an HDMI cable. I use an external monitor, so this was a bit of a necessity. And this thin cable specifically is good for throwing it on a gimbal. So that's about all I have for the specific accessories for the S1H, but something to always consider is your lenses. You're probably gonna buy a new lens when buying this camera. So every time I get a new lens, I always get a UV filter. Think of it as a screen protector for your lens. So this lens is like $1,000. This is like 20 bucks. So I would much rather break the UV filter than the actual lens itself. Speaking of your lens, the most important part of your camera, because it is what it is seeing, you wanna protect it. So we have lens wipes right here. These ones are from Zeiss. They're very nice. They're just a one-time use. And we also have a rocket duster thingy. So you wanna make sure that your lens stays nice and clean to get the best image. You're trying to film in 6K, you're getting this camera because it has an amazing image quality. You want the best image possible. So keeping your lens nice and clean is gonna help you do that. I think that is all of the accessories that I have and I would recommend when you're just getting the S1H. Let's get a little review. So you wanna have the fastest SD card on the market. Look at UHS-2 cards. They have dual things on the back. UHS-2, 300 megabytes per second. I just happen to have the Lexar ones. Batteries, get you some batteries. There's not a whole lot of options out there. So I'd recommend the Tektra dual battery charger. So then you start it off with three batteries for this camera and that's gonna last you like four hours or something like that. Screen protector, it has a touch screen. You might want to protect that touch screen. Get a screen protector. A cage, not a necessity, but it'll give you peace of mind, mounting points. It'll make your camera a little bit beefier and a little stronger. A nice, thin, gimbal-ready HDMI cable. Always nice to have. I always recommend these ones. And finally, you gotta protect your glass. So 
get a UV filter, get lens wipes, get a rocket blower, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content with the S1H and camera stuff in general. Help me get to a thousand subscribers and watch me be in pain as I get another tattoo. Like the video for the YouTube algorithm and that is all that I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah, and yeah. Thank you.